All right. Here we go. Here we go. Good morning. I'm oh, Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Good morning. I'm Ishihara from the Pokemon Company. Good morning. Thank you for taking the time to attend today's Pokemon Business Strategy Announcement. First, thank you Today, I would like to reveal some upcoming Pokemon projects that we are working on with our partners to give you a preview of the future of Pokemon. Today, さて、プロジェクトの発表に入る前に先ほどからお聞きの通り、本日の発表は日本語、英語に新たに中国語を加えました。今後、中国語を母国語とするユーザーにもより分かりやすく多くのサービスを as you can already tell, our announcements today will be made not just in Japanese and English, but also in Chinese. This is because going forward, we plan to deliver more of our services to Pokemon fans who are native speakers of Chinese. That's cool. For the rest of today's presentation, we will switch to simultaneous translation. First, I would like to talk about movies, including Pokemon's first Hollywood film, Detective Pikachu. I'd like to invite another one? Mr. Matsuoka from Toho on stage. Okay. Movie stuff. So, are they going to actually like announce like another one? I know that there's already like technically another. In development. Good morning, everyone. I'm Matsuoka from Toho. This is a bit of a sudden announcement. But the day after tomorrow, assuming the motion is approved, I will be appointed as an external board member to the Pokemon Company's board of directors. I look forward to working more closely with the company. As you all know, Detective Pikachu de debuted in theaters on May 3rd and has received a lot of praise around the world. As a movie based on a Japanese IP, it's right up there with Godzilla in terms of box office success. Toho, Toho was an investor in the Detective Pikachu project and we also handled the distribution in Japan. We have this summer's movie coming up and we look forward to take on new creative challenges alongside Pokemon and the movie business in the future. Like the CGI. Remake. And while I shouldn't be promoting the new Godzilla movie here today, <laughs> Godzilla. <laughs> for those who want to see Ken Watanabe on the big screen again, Godzilla versus Pikachu. I hope you will find your way to theaters starting the day after tomorrow. Thank you. Back to you, Mr. Ishihara. Mr. Matsuoka, thank you. Crossover? 
It was nice of you to so casually insert that bit of news that was so completely unrelated to Pokemon. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Setting Godzilla aside, the Detective Pikachu movie was Wait, based gonna, on a Nintendo 3DS are we gonna game get a of the same name. Of this, or are we One of get, the like, three companies sequel? involved in the original creation of Pokemon, called Creatures, developed it. The 3DS game's story ended on a bit of a cliffhanger. <gasps> But the conclusion to the story yes! will finally be coming to Nintendo yes! Switch. Yes! 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 I hope fans will look forward to seeing a, a different take on the ending to the story than what you oh saw in theaters. Oh my god. Boy! I tell you what. Uh, recently, at Chiangai Airport in Singapore, which is one of the premier airports in Asia, a massive commercial facility called Jewel was opened. Within Jewel, we opened Pokemon Center Singapore. This store represents our flagship location in the region. Pokemon Centers are not just shops for Pokemon products. They represent fun spaces for Pokemon fans to gather and enjoy a variety of software and hardware services. Can you see? Can you see it? To tell it's you more about like future initiatives for Pokemon Center, out. I would like to invite the president of Pokemon Center, Mr. Uego, onto stage. I'm Uego from Pokemon Center. Today's conference is being held in the Shibuya district of Tokyo, which is a major cultural center of Japan and world-renowned tourist destination, and it will see the Shibuya Parko Shopping Center open soon, which will also be the home of our newest Pokemon Center that we are calling Pokemon Center Shibuya. We are planning to open at the same time as Shibuya Parko in fall of this year. This new Pokemon Center is being built under a new concept we, we would like some here. that merges Pokemon with the latest technology and with support from other partners will surely become not just a place to shop, to shop but an exciting destination for Pokemon fans to visit. Please take a look at the short video which shows off the concept. As you can see in the video, the new location will feature a stylish like black a design and a tank? with a Mewtwo statue positioned at the entrance. We look forward to delivering a new Pokemon Center experience that visitors will want to tell their friends and family about, and also building a mutually enriching relationship with the town of Shibuya and the Shibuya Parko Shopping Center. That's it from Pokemon Center. Back to you, Mr. Ishara. Thank you. In the same Shibuya Parko shopping center in which we are opening our Pokemon Center, it was recently announced that there are plans for a Nintendo Tokyo store to open. We want Nintendo Tokyo and Jeez, Pokemon Center though. Shibuya to be good partners and are Electric working on Boogaloo collaborations a great title to provide even more, better experiences to customers of both locations. With Pokemon Center they said it's and be Nintendo different. Tokyo, from the ending. We look forward this, to seeing movie. Shibuya Parko become a destination for fans of video games to gather and enjoy great experiences. We'd like to invite our next guest on stage, Mr. Ethan Wong from NetEase. I'm Ethan Wong from NetEase. NetEase is the second largest game developer in the world with an annual active user base of over 550 million globally. Since 2001, NetEase has developed over 200 games in multiple genres Are they making a game? with massive popularity. Up to this April, Four of the top ten most popular games in China are made by NetEase. Since the very beginning, we've 
always been dedicated to creating the best and innovative games for game lovers. Today, we are honored to announce that we are releasing the first official Pokemon games in China, Pokemon oh. Quest. Please look at screen. Oh, I see. Yeah, I heard about this. Pokemon Quest China will preserve the core experience of the global version while adding PvP and social system. Yeah. I wish they would update Pokemon Quest, man. Over 1.7 million players have already pre-registered for the game, and we've seen a lot of enthusiasm among fans. We will continue to work closely with the Pokemon Company and Game Freak on Pokemon Quest China, creating this game with our passion. In the future, we will bring more interesting Pokemon games into China. Please stay tuned. Thank you. Yeah, I heard about that earlier. But it, it is different. Thank you, Mr. Ethan Wong. The development of this powered-up version of Pokemon Quest is progressing at a speed I haven't seen before in Japan, and I continue to be amazed by NetEase's technical ability. And they all love Pokemon, too, making this very much a, a passion project for the team. Hmm. At Pokemon, we believe we have found a great partner with NetEase. Allow me to welcome another guest for our next announcement. Okay. This is a Pokemon game. I would guess it's either. Hey, Mia-san, konnichiwa. Hello, everyone. Uh, yeah, I would guess it's so good to hear that it, like, Today, it's an actual game. I'm here to talk about the future of Pokemon. Pokemon was born as a video game for the Game Boy and has evolved into a wide variety of content beloved by trainers all around the world. With the release of Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee for Nintendo Switch, as well as Pokemon Go, we have also seen a large number of new players who are experiencing Pokemon for the very first time. As a result, in recent years, the world of Pokemon has become broader than we could have ever imagined before. At the same time, we also have a great many players who have gone from Game Boy Advance to Nintendo DS and also on to Nintendo 3DS using the connectivity features to bring their Pokemon with them on adventures through various regions along the way. These Pokemon exist beyond just a single game or hardware device and have become irreplaceable to their trainers. This special relationship is something unique to the Pokemon world. With so many different parts of this Pokemon world, we wanted to make a single location where they could all come together and use that to deliver a new experience that not only connects Pokemon with a variety of games, but also pl connects players with each other. We're calling it Pokemon Home. What? The concept behind Pokemon Home is to be a place where all Pokemon can gather. We're developing is this the new as a Pokemon cloud bank? service this that will work with bank. smartphone devices and Nintendo Switch, and it will allow you to bring over the Pokemon that have shared in your adventures. On Nintendo 3DS, we created a service, a Pokemon, a, a service called Pokemon, Pokemon Banks Pokemon that allowed bank. players to bring Pokemon from past games into the latest series of the games on the system. With Pokemon Home, go, with Pokemon Home, we aim to leave behind the boundaries of a single system and allow for players to connect with Pokemon Bank, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee, the upcoming Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield games, and also Pokemon Go. And we will, of course, take care, take great care to preserve the value that each of these Pokemon have to if their Pokemon trainers. Bank and in the future, like the content which you can play with your Pokemon will continue to expand even I further. Imagine you'd still pay for Pokemon those. Home will also feature trading functionality allowing you to trade anytime, anywhere, as long as you have your smartphone with you. So you can trade, trade Pokemon face face without anything else. 
or with anyone else from around the world, over the Internet. And getting a large number of people in a single location together to trade all at once is another cool feature we're looking into implementing. Okay. Pokemon Home. As the place where all Pokemon can gather, we plan to launch it in early 2020. Well, that's good. We're working hard to create a new future for people and their Pokemon, so I hope you'll look forward to it. We also plan to reveal more news about Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield on June 5th next week at 6 a.m. on Pacific Pacific time in a special Pokemon Direct, so please do not oh, miss it. Oh, my West Coast friends. Thank you, Mr. Masuda. You guys gotta get up early. Next, uh, please take a look at this video. Pokemon made walking into entertainment. Our daily life has become more colorful, active, and fulfilling. But this is just the beginning. Pokemon could enrich our everyday lives even further. Is this like the vitality sensor? of Pokemon? Is that Pokemon's, like, sleep aid? A sleep tracker okay. for Pokemon? <laughs> As you could see from the video, I actually would use this. Exploring the real world was one of the themes of Pokemon Go. And through that game, it's a Pokemon sleep tracker. Pokemon trainers all what around the, the world. Hell? Began to spend more it's time connect walking Pokemon outdoors. Go, I guess? What we believe hell? we are able to take the simple these... human act of walking and turn it into entertainment for many people around right the world. My... Pokemon Go Plus. After walking, we decided to focus on the act of sleeping. Everyone spends a large part of their lives sleeping, and turning that into entertainment is our next challenge at Pokemon. Today, I would like to talk a little bit this about how Pokemon plans to take on this task. Nintendo was literally working on a sleep tracker with their quality of life First, stuff. That's so weird. I would like to know they canceled that. that we are developing a new game called Pokemon Sleep Pokemon that uses your time spent sleep? sleeping to affect gameplay. The game is being created with the help of Select Button, who developed Pokemon Magikarp Jump. The concept of this game is for players to look forward to waking up every morning. Pokemon Sleep utilizes information such as the player's time spent sleeping or the time they wake up to create a new kind of entertaining gameplay. Man, I, I like. I wish I looked that good in the morning when I woke up. Pokemon <laughs> Sleep in 2020. He's <laughs> got the, the makeup already ready. <laughs> Separately from Pokemon Sleep, we are also working alongside Nintendo and Niantic to find more ways to turn resting into gameplay. So, maybe Nintendo did help First, them with this. let's have Nintendo Come on stage to tell us more about the new quality of life 
stuff Nintendo was working on Please was partially sleeping Nintendo. stuff, and they said that it was canceled. Look at the vitality sensor. I'm Mariyama from Nintendo. I'm in charge of device development. Yeah. Okay. I got one. Do you all remember this device? Yeah. Go Plus. Back in 2016, this Pokemon Go Plus was developed as a device to be used with Pokemon Go. You don't really need it as much anymore. It was made to enhance the Pokemon Go experience, and many trainers out there continue to enjoy using it to this day. I believe that it has helped many players be more active in their Pokemon Go adventures. Did not get this thing because. And last year we released cool, the Pokeball really feel the... Plus device, which included the all of the for... Pokemon Go Plus functionality. Could also be used as. Could also be used with Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee on Nintendo Switch as a controller. His hair is so smooth. It also allowed trainers to put their favorite Pokemon inside the device and take them for walks. It let us deliver a gameplay experience across multiple hardware platforms. Pokemon's initiative to turn sleep into entertainment is one we support at Nintendo, and we are developing a new device for it that we're calling Pokemon Go Plus. No, it looks like Plus. a big. It looks like a big Pokemon Go Plus. After we finished development of the Pokeball Plus, Mr. Ishihara approached Pokemon us Go with Plus a new Plus. idea, and we began working on it together. Pokemon Go Plus and Plus and mine, my noon. As you can probably tell from the name, this device can also be used as a standard Pokemon Go Plus device. Uh, it's kind Use of it as big. a Pokemon Go Plus while you're walking about during the day to be notified it's kind of, of thick. nearby Pokestops via the LED and vibrations. And at night, you can put it on your bed and it will track simple information about how long you sleep. I honestly, when I this have is like smartwatches, I use them more to track my sleep the than on, almost anything else. Via Bluetooth technology. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't use it these Pokemon sleep Go. Tracking features with the functionality of a Pokemon Go Plus, this device can help transform both the time spent walking. I want to see Pokemon sleep, and also the time spent sleeping at night. Let's see this and so, into something more fun and enriching for everyone. Let's see this. That's all from Nintendo for today. Back, to, back to you, Mr. Ishihara. S show us Pokemon Sleep. Thank you, Mr. Mariyama. We gotta see this. We also believe there are opportunities to incorporate resting into the gameplay of Pokemon Go to make it a more fun and fulfilling experience. And we're working with Niantic to explore new ideas. Let's have Niantic CEO, Mr. John Hankey, talk more about their involvement. Well, this guy is going to get translated to Japanese. Hello, everyone. I'm John Hankey from Niantic. Niantic pioneered a new Are kind they, of gaming they not, by turning not the whole world into a game board where we can all play and explore. By creating a new way to see the world and an incentive to go outside and exercise, we hoped to encourage a healthy lifestyle and to make a positive impact on our players I was gonna say, and on the world. 
Can we transfer Pokemon from Pokemon Sleep? We're delighted to be working with the Pokemon Company to on Pokemon their Sword and Shield to encourage another part of a healthy lifestyle, getting a good night's rest. At Niantic, we love exploring the world on foot. And that can't happen unless we have the energy Oh, we're going to go into the dream world adventures. and get the dream Pokemon. Was it is we're it just excited like a, to find ways to reward what game did you do that? Sleep was it black and white? Pokemon Go as part of Yo, it's going to be like black and white. We're going to the dream You'll world. hearing more from us on this in the future. <laughs> There's one more thing. Some of you may have noticed that Snorlax is particularly excited about this development. So excited Yo, that he's decided what to take a nice, hell? relaxing nap. Look around in Pokemon Go, and you may find a snoozing Snorlax just waiting to be collected. But don't wait too long. Once our sleeping Snorlax wakes up, he may disappear. That's it from Niantic on the subject of sleep. I'll hand it back to you, Mr. Ishihara. Okay, okay. so there's just going to be lots of Snorlax. Thank you, John. Everyone? I gotta see this Pokemon John sleep. just said something about a sleeping Snorlax in Pokemon Go. And some of you there may be ready to pull out your smartphones right now to check it out, but please let me have your attention for just a little bit longer. I'm Wait, they like sure drop it like right now? Is that today, what we're talking about? Snorlax will start appearing in the game. Let's check it out. Our mission at the Pokemon Company is to enrich both the real world and the virtual world with Pokemon characters. With that in mind, after having done so with walking, we now turn our focus to make sleeping more enriching for everyone. We want to turn sleep into ter entertainment. That's all for our sleep-related initiative. For our final announcement today, I would like to show off just a little bit more of the project that DNA recently announced so new game. we are working on together. The new game? New mobile game? The title is Pokemon Masters. Yeah, what? Hello? This project began with an idea from Game Freak's Ken Sugimori Yo, to make the a game champions? that featured all of the past and present Pokemon trainers from the video games. Ken Sugimori also created this key art that represents the concept of the game. In Pokemon Masters, all of your favorite Pokemon trainers as well as their partner Pokemon from the main series RPGs will appear. Development is still underway, but please take a look at some gameplay footage. Oh, they're gonna actually like show stuff? The heck? Bonjour? Excuse me? Yo, Cynthia. Misty. Rock in there. Yo, what the frick? Brock looking swole as Pokemon Masters will be released on Android Yo. and iOS in calendar year 2019. We plan to reveal more details in June next month. So please wait just a little bit longer while we prepare our I don't think they're going to talk about that at E3. So it'll be like a separate... So, what did you think? Separate thing for it. So let's see, we got our spin-off game is Detective Pikachu 2. There's one more small thing I'd like to share with you all. All of today's presenters, including myself, are wearing what we call Pokemon shirts. The first 151 Pokemon, Pokemon that Pokemon sleep, Go Pokemon also Go, began with Pokemon Masters. are featured in original fabric designs. These designs can be 
mixed and matched on a website to customize and order your very own shirt with this Pokemon shirts service. Those are pretty clean, actually. These are some of the shirts that were made. Currently, this service began in Japan and is available in uh, only select Asian territories. However, starting with North America and Europe, we plan to expand it to more regions around the globe. Please look forward to further details to be announced at a later date. Yo, I'm in. I'm down. And for everyone here in attendance today, we also prepared a small souvenir using the Pokemon shirts designs. So please pick it up on your way out. No, free, free stuff, free stuff, free stuff. Today, in order to give you a sense of what lies in Pokemon's future, we announced some projects that are still in development or planning phases. We will reveal more details about each project separately, so please look forward to hearing more about each individual project at a later date. That's all for our announcements today. Thank you very much. Pokemon Sleep, Pokemon Masters, and Detective Pikachu too. Plus shirts. Pokemon shirts. Pokemon Go Plus Plus. For Pokemon Sleep. Pokemon. Pokemon, 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 Pokemon. That, that Pokemon Masters game looks kind of clean. I kind of wonder, like... How exactly it's gonna play since it's a phone game, you know. But uh, looks looks promising. I didn't think it would be coming out this year. Um, I actually am curious about the Pokemon Sleep thing because like it's like literally something that I think super important. It's like tracking your sleep and like making sure that you're sleeping well. And I'm wondering if it'll like be able to tell you like rim cycle stuff like a regular sleep tracker would but the question is like what exactly do you like earn more stuff in the game if you sleep better like i wonder how it how it works exactly i don't know yeah i gotta go i gotta go get a new phone myself so but i Hmm. It's interesting. I was hoping that we would get, like, some kind of spinoff on Switch, so I am glad. Like, I actually like Detective Pikachu. It's, like, not... It's easy. It's, like, an easy game and stuff, so I'm kind of hoping that they maybe make it a little bit harder. But... I, I, liked, I liked what was going on with it and everything, so... No, no, no. Nah, I'm not gonna get a one plus, man. I just gotta get what I can get. Plus, I, I kind of need iMessage still. At the moment, it's pretty, pretty important. <laughs> uh, let's see. Um. Yeah, and what did you guys think? Let me know what you thought. And, uh, I think I'm gonna go get some of this stuff up on YouTube. And, you know, that ended pretty quickly, so maybe, maybe I'll come back and stream. Maybe, maybe, maybe. We'll see. Um,. But, uh, yeah. We'll see about that. We shall see. But thanks for watching. If you're watching on a YouTube, and let me know in the comments what you thought.